I'm excited to introduce Design Variables for Divi 5, a new feature that will forever change how you build websites. You can define variables for anything such as colors, fonts, numbers, and content, and plug them into Divi elements and presets. When you update a variable, your website's design and content changes. The synergy between presets and variables is fantastic. Let me show you how it works. The variables icon in the left sidebar will open your website's variable manager. Divi currently supports six types of variables covering all of Divi's native input fields, including numbers, text, images, links, colors, and fonts. Add a new variable, give it a name and a value, and then you can plug that variable into relevant settings on any page. Click the variables icon above settings to choose from a list of relevant variables and dynamic content from your website. Divi's variable and dynamic content system has been extended to all fields where it was previously only available on content fields. That means you can assign variables and dynamic content to number fields, font fields, etc. For example, most websites use two to three fonts. You've probably spent time setting up your desired body and title text fonts in various elements and presets, but what if you want to switch things up? Even if you've designed your website optimally with presets, it can be time-consuming to go back and change the fonts in those elements. You may not even remember all the places you used a particular font. That's where font variables come in. I built this website using three font variables, a title font, a body font, and a highlight font. Adding the title font variable to elements like my default blurb preset is easy. Since I never used static font values, but instead plugged in my variables, the fonts on my website are entirely dynamic. Changing my website's title font is as easy as updating the title font variable. You can do the same thing with text sizes. I defined a series of eight text sizes for various heading levels and body text styles. When I update my default blurb preset and assign the medium heading text size variable, all my blurb titles inherit the value from that variable. Since my entire website's text sizes are based on these variables, I can manage my website's text sizes entirely from the variable manager. Finally, here is a website leveraging the full power of design variables. All the colors are variables, as are the fonts, text sizes, border radius sizes. Not only that, but common content elements have been turned into variables. My company name, phone number, and address are content variables. If my company phone number changes, I won't have to hunt for all the places it's mentioned. I can just update the variable. Even this background image, a familiar brand motif throughout the website, is an image variable that can be easily changed. Design variables are available today and is one of many features coming to Divi this year. 2025 is the year of Divi 5. The tedious work is behind us. We built the super fast foundation and now it's time for Divi to make its comeback. You can follow along as we progress through the final release of Divi 5 and beyond with updates every two weeks. You can use Divi 5 now to build new websites or wait until we add more features, whatever works best for you. We want you to try it, and if you love it, use it. When everyone loves it, we'll make it official. In case you missed it, I recently gave a sneak peek of Nested Rows, an essential first step towards a much more flexible layout system for Divi 5. You can learn more by visiting the link in the video description. Thanks for watching and before you go, I have a favor to ask. If you're here for the Divi comeback, let us know by commenting on this video. I'll be reading every comment. I'd love to see this video reach 200 comments, so check the comment count and lend us a hand if you can. It's a great way to feed the algorithm and more importantly, we like chatting with you. Remember to follow and subscribe so you never miss an update. I'll see you soon for another Divi 5 feature announcement, which I promise is right around the corner.